What's up everyone? Stoneman here. Welcome to another episode. We have an amazing show for you today. I can't wait to show you today's featured NFTs. So on today's episode, we've asked 22 NFT artists, which NFT marketplaces did you decide to start with and why? And which NFT marketplaces are you excited to go to in the future and why? Let's see what they had to say. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to view more pieces from the artist or contact the artist, their information will be in the description below. And if you'd like to read a short bio of the artist, that will be in the comment section below. Now let's get started. Aola Destiny 122 Aola Destiny 122 says, I chose to sell my NFT art on OpenSea. Why OpenSea? Because it is one of the best marketplaces. With huge traffic, a lot of people are using OpenSea and buying NFT art of their choice. Their minting is also easier. I'm hoping to get into SoulSea. I want to use another coin like Solana to mint. I already have Ethereum. Great collection. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Blinky.com LLC Blinky.com LLC says, I chose OpenSea because it is free to use and it has a lot of free traffic. Hoping to have my own marketplace one day because I just don't want to have to pay a service charge to a marketplace and I'd like to have my NFT store and physical Blinky Light store complement each other. Cool collection. Keep up the great work. Carousel. Carousel says, I chose OpenSea to host my NFT just because when I was really new into NFTs, the choice was not obvious with all the different advice you can read online. Yes, it's a great place to find cool projects and a lot of different artwork, but OpenSea is also a difficult marketplace where it's really really hard to promote your art because OpenSea won't help you if you haven't sold anything yet. In the future, I'd probably get into form function because I've been told that if they like your artwork, they'll help you sell it. Amazing collection. Keep up the amazing job. Charles Waswa. Charles Waswa says, My name is Charles Waswa from Kampala, Uganda. I'm selling my NFT art on the OpenSea marketplace on the Polygon network. I chose this because of the gas-free minting opportunity it offers. I also look forward to selling on Foundation Marketplace in the future because of the high-end NFT collectors and the opportunity to make some decent sales because of the high percentage fee structure for artists at 95% pay. Great collection. Keep up the great job. Crypto BVR. Crypto BVR says, We've chosen to mint and sell our NFTs on OpenSea via Polygon Ethereum blockchain. The reason why we've decided to use OpenSea was that it's the most known NFT marketplace using the most stable blockchain. Other NFT marketplaces where we want to explore are Object.com, Foundation.app, and Rarible.com. The reason why is that Object.com is on a different blockchain, and the other two, in our opinion, they are the most selective compared with OpenSea. Those are based on quality, not volume. Great collection. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Diana Avkadieva. Diana Avkadieva says, At the moment, I'm only on Foundation. I managed to post my collection of water here. I decided to go there due to closeness and exclusivity. I came to Foundation when there were still invitations, and I like the works and authors that are presented there. I'm a new NFT artist, and I would eventually like to end up in Super Rare, because there are curators and the high cost of work. Amazing work. Keep up the great job. Ing M. Juma and Dishwar. Ing M. Juma and Dishwar says, I chose Rarible NFT Marketplace because where I'm from in Afghanistan, OpenSea is not available. My work is posted on the Ethereum blockchain platform. I'm going to upload my next collection on the Object Marketplace because Object is one of the most popular and largest NFT marketplaces on the Tezos blockchain. Great collection. Keep up the great job. Jason Schmidt. Jason Schmidt says, I started my collection on OpenSea, but I just started minting on Rarible today. 
I went with these two because they were the top two when I googled how to make NFTs and they're free to mint. Otherwise, I couldn't afford to mint. I'm not sure of any other marketplaces I'm super excited to get into. I don't really know of any others except for NFT creation and they ripped me off. I paid like $120 and my NFT never even got minted. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Christina Uvarova NFT. Christina Uvarova NFT says, The marketplace I chose to sell my NFTs is OpenSea because it is accessible to all artists. I want to get onto a foundation in the future. Yes, at the foundation you have to pay for everything, but there is an auction and they can make a good bid. There is also more venues and more chances of being noticed. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Laksh Sonani 21 Laksh Sonani 21 says, I chose OpenSea to mint my NFTs because it is the largest platform for minting NFTs and minting is free. That's why. I hope to get into Binance NFT marketplace one day, but they add gas fees so I can't get in there yet. I'm a man with billions of dreams. Great job. Keep up the great work. Mega One NFT Mega One NFT says, I chose OpenSea to sell my NFTs, and it's because it's the largest marketplace to sell and buy NFTs, and it's a really good start for beginners, and you can also create and sell NFTs for free. That's why it's suitable for me to use OpenSea. I'm hoping to keep using OpenSea because of how it works, and it works pretty fine for me. I get to sell NFTs for free using Polygon sometimes, and it's really helping me. Great collection. Keep up the great job. Mutagenic Wasteland Mutagenic Wasteland says So I put my NFTs up on OpenSea because to be honest when I was starting out it was the one main one I knew about. Also with lazy minting it meant there was not a large cost outlay to mint 365 days worth of posts. Even if it spread out there would never be a financial impediment to make a daily post. As for platforms I want to get on foundation and I eventually did end up getting a collection on foundation. Great collection. Keep up the amazing job. My name is Norbert. My name is Norbert says I primarily use OpenSea since for now it is the most popular and cost effective website for listing NFTs. I wish they would switch to a know your customer verification method though, since it's more difficult for smaller artists to get verified. I'm still exploring other marketplaces and as a newer NFT enthusiast I'm still learning so that is an open ended still learning question. I've dabbled on foundation with other pieces but find the minting fees a bit much. I've taken my images and submitted them for outside ways to generate revenue which will bring value to collectors. This is a WIP. The NFT community has been so kind and helpful with the encouragement and tips. I'm very grateful for this community. We are extremely early to NFTs and I'm very super excited to see where we are in the future. Love your collection. Keep up the amazing job. Natron Studio. Natron Studio says, I'm using Foundation because it's very user friendly and you can mint by IPFS. It's very important to decentralize your data and when you create a collection, you're actually creating a smart contract specifically for yourself. My next target is Super Rare because you can find great artists and powerful connections. Great collection. Keep up the amazing job. NFTs for Artists and Charities. NFTs for Artists and Charities says, we chose OpenSea because it's one of the greatest marketplaces and it's really easy to work on and manage your collections and items with. The following might sound funny and dumb, but we also really liked their logo and thought, sure, this is it, let's hop in. We are not trying to get into another marketplace at the moment because we think it's pretty important to keep everything as simple as possible, especially in the beginning of a new project. If you try to catch two rabbits at the same time, you won't catch any rabbits. That's the reason why we are only on OpenSea and Twitter. For sure we could maximize our potential audience if we are on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, OpenSea, NFT Launchpad, Crypto.com, Rarible, and on everything. But holy cow, we are just a team of two right now and we must focus our energy as much as possible on the one rabbit we are trying to catch. 
and it seems like it's working. Within the first 48 hours we exist, we got over 20 followers and over 500 impressions on Twitter without using any money for promotion. Additionally, we are also able to share our first NFTs through our 24-hour existence anniversary giveaway last night. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Pook Osi. Pook Osi says, I chose the Rarible Marketplace. It seemed to me the most attractive of all the marketplaces. Easy to use and free minting available. Everything is made for a simple user. A large number of buyers and sellers. I'm hoping to get into OpenSea next. It's one of the largest and most popular NFT marketplaces today. The variety of offers overshadow many other trading platforms. Great collection. Keep up the great work. SB. SB says, I chose OpenSea because it's popular where I live and easy to use. For the marketplace I would like to get into, I think I would still stick with OpenSea because it has the most traction per day than any other marketplace. Therefore, the chances of getting seen and bought are here. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Tanner9. Tanner9 says, I'm using Nifties to sell my Tweety Bird. I started using Nifty specifically for the Tweety collection as I know she's a very popular figure. Nifty's has been very active in their NFT community, constantly updating and trying to grow their platforms. Their next update, they will accept 12 more cryptocurrencies. Dogecoin and Apecoin are on the list. Nifty's is owned by Warner Brothers Studio, and more Warner Brother content will come out. They currently have the Matrix movies, Space Jam, and Tweety's What's Up block. They also are having a Tweety utility for Twitter. A lot of updates, a lot of interactions with the community. I see big projects coming out of Nifty's that you don't want to miss. Nifty's is a baby in the community, but I believe will grow into something bigger. Great collection. Keep up the great job. Techie Cat. Techie Cat says, OpenSea is my favorite place to sell NFTs as it's the largest and most common marketplace and it's easy to use. This allows me to reach vast audiences including non-NFT nor Web3 experts. In addition, it allows gas-free trading by minting on Polygon. So it is a great place for small artists. I'm looking forward to sell on knownorigin.io as it is an art-oriented marketplace, more specialized in paintings and in collectibles, which suits better an AI-generative artist such as me. Great collection. Keep up the amazing job. Ten Men Artist Ten Men Artist says, I'm currently using OpenSea because it is the most popular and most traded platform. I want to advance to Super Rare because rare art is gathered there. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. Thomas the First. Thomas the First says, I minted my NFTs on Polygon with OpenSea. My wife was the one who got me into going there. I'm a starting artist and writer, so I don't exactly know which other NFT marketplaces I want to get into. I'm working on a plan to connect a roadmap with my NFT and book. Great collection. Keep up the great work. Unknown World 7. Unknown World 7 says, I'm currently using OpenSea because it is the largest marketplace and there are no gas fees when using the Polygon or Matic wallet. I am trying to get into Binance, but I can't because you need two followers in order to open a Binance account to start selling. Great project. Keep up the amazing job. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the whole way through. If you liked the video, please smash the like button and comment on the video. And as usual, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to be featured on the next episode, just DM me on Twitter. The instructions are in the description below. A huge thank you to all the NFT artists for the submissions on today's episode. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep on creating.